Welcome to the Zebra Zaps Editor Interactivity Concepts Tutorial Part 1 Message Centers. This tutorial will cover the basic principles on how the Zebra Zaps Editor allows developers to create interactivity in projects. Let's get started showing you these concepts by adding a checkbox button to the event stage. We'll open up event 1, go over to the toolbox, click the checkbox button, and draw it on the stage. When an object is added to the workspace, it also displays its associated message center. This message center is at the heart of all values, settings, and actions for the object. The more you know about the message centers, the more powerful the Zebra's Apps development system becomes. Let's take a look at the message center. Across the top of the message center is the object icon, message center title, wire lock, an object position lock. When the position lock is selected, the message center is hidden and the object cannot be selected. To retrieve the message center, double click the object. Below are the three main category buttons, ins, properties, and outs. These buttons open the associated ribbon tabs. A ribbon is a listed action or attribute in a message center or the inspector. We will open the properties ribbons first. Properties are values that represent the current states of the object. Here we have a default ribbon showing that tells us if the button is checked or not. The button is not checked so the value is false or F. If the button was checked it would change to true or T. Let's take a look at the font ribbons by clicking the font tab. You may notice a resemblance to the properties in the inspector. As you may recall, the inspector contains the most used properties for an object. The message center, however, contains all of the properties for an object. Properties can be changed in either the message center ribbons or the inspector ribbons. If I change the color of the font to red, it's also reflected in the inspector. If I change the size of the font, let's say in the inspector, to 20, it changes in the message center. Let's explore a few more ribbon tabs now. The geometry tab contains the location of the object as well as its layer, its zoom, its size and width. Let's say we want to change the width to 50 You'll notice it changed both the size and the height because we have the keep aspect ratio checked to true. Let's take a look at the layout tab. Here we could change the position of the label from the center right to the center left or to the top center or back to the center right. We could look at the appearance tab here we have some different fill color properties, one for unchecked state and one for a checked state. So if we wanted to change the color of the button when it was checked, we could go and change the fill. And now when the button is checked, it will change to that color. We could also change the check mark to yellow. So now when it's checked, it'll show yellow. These are just a few of the properties in the message center. Many properties are similar from object to object. There are also many that are different that only apply to that particular type of object. Exploring these message centers is a great way to understand how these objects can be changed and manipulated. Let's go back to the category buttons and look at the outs. We'll click the out button. Outs are action triggers that can cause a change to properties in other objects or even itself. Let's take a look at the point and click tab. Here we have ribbons for mouse click, a mouse down, a mouse release, pointer over, and pointer out. We also have ribbons for drag and drop, collision, and specific actions for the current object such as checked on, and checked off. The in button 
and displays in ribbons, these ribbons are specific changes to objects which are initiated from an out action trigger. The display tab contains ribbons associated with how the object is displayed. The most common are the show and hide ribbons. When a ribbon has a drop down icon, clicking it will reveal additional properties for that ribbon. Here we can select a transition type to display the object. We can fade it or zoom it. And we can also select the transition time. The Do tab contains ribbons that change object specific properties like powering on or off the button, or checking or unchecking, or even toggling the state of the button. This concludes the tutorial on Interactive Concepts, Part 1 Message Centers. In Part 2, we will show how you use these message centers to communicate between objects.